Welcome to another episode of Barely Banter. Ah, hello there. You've joined me on a Thursday afternoon before Easter. I think it's time for some Soup Dogs Gin and Juice. Step one, two, Soup Dogs original album, Doggy Style, into the CD player. Oh, got one in there. Sorry, champ. Make sure you put it back in the correct case. Yeah, well, while we roll the camera, we might just tuck that in there. We'll worry about that later. Cheeky, Dad won't be happy. Yeah, you wouldn't want that to um, drag the videos out too much. Give it a snoop rolling on the on the tuck. Now let's see what he's got to offer. Now, snoop box, cup box, from crook to cup. I think in the section at the back. You've got to show us the book bit more, mate. It's a great book there. The section in the back, which is actually is uh, the drinks. And if you look, drinks. It's got the OG gin and juice and the remix. Today we're actually doing the remix gin and juice, and it involves 30 ounce mil, 30 mils of tankery gin. Now we've got a bit of Gordon's lying around, and we've got a bit of Bombay Sapphire. But in order to get the tankery, which is the gin of choice by the Snoop Dio Dizzle, I'm gonna have to raid the liquor cabinet. Looks like Dad's got some from Duty Free. Maybe we'll tell Dad about this one. Luckily, he doesn't actually watch YouTube. So we reckon we need about a 30 mil shot of tanker, right? Beautiful. Now, 30 mil apple flavor vodka. Don't have any apple flavoured, but got some rivet. I'm gonna have to make two. Another classic Snoop hit. Stuff, which is what my first bottle of spirits ever purchased was. It was a Schmirnoff vodka. Let's get a shot of that in there. That says 60 mils pineapple juice. Well, luckily, oh, I've already got it out. It's almost as if I knew this was coming. 60 mils of that. So that's two more shots. And this is your mixer. I reckon we need a bit of ice in here to really perfect the drink. Here's some I prepared earlier. Now the key to a good cocktail is a big ice cube because anything anything that's too small it melts too quick. That keeps the ice in a solid state for much longer. So we're nearly there. We've got our gin, we've got our pineapple juice. Now it's just time for a bit of garnish. As she says pineapple leaves you don't have, we do have a pineapple and not the leaves. Maybe we could use some leek leaves? Yeah, go on. What are you doing, Zan? Just improvising. Should have seen Jamie Oliver last night. He was um, experienced. <laughs> he was uh, using the ingredients at hand. It says garnish with a lime wheel. Luckily, we have some limes here. I think I've cut it the wrong way. Is that how you cut a lime? Is it? I would normally cut it the other way. Actually, how do you get the wheel going? It's that way, eh? Is it that way? Bugger! I don't know. Let's just chuck that in. Ooh. Jesus, watch you don't get your fingers off on live. Don't get your fingers off on the live YouTube. Jesus, this is embarrassing. You can always cut this. Why not leave it in? Sometimes it makes you a bit jazzy. Just trying to work out how do you get the lime wheel to appear. I think you've got to cut it vertically. It's all like that. Yeah, let's go with that. This is just the garnish anyway. Like to cut, it's making probably horrible YouTube. 
Oh, I'll squeeze a bit of that in there. Why do you say that? This is this is very high quality. Chuck our leg leaf in there, and look at that. Just like the picture. Cheers, New Zealand. Now that's a gin and juice. Thanks for watching Barely Banter. Leave a like if you had a good time. Oh, that'll do, man.